Our next speaker is Dr. David John Sinclair. Uh, Do Dr. David is an NLP and a mindfulness coach and inspires and teaches individuals and businesses around the world to cooperate consciously with the intelligence of the universe. He has made a lot of CDs and written a lot of books that guide people into their happiness and abundance. He's also vice president of the Canadian Mindfulness Research Center. Thank you so much, Dr. David. Your topic today is how to cooperate with the Divine Master Plan. Over to you, Dr. David. When we think about uh, how to cooperate with the Divine Master Plan, then we need to ask ourselves, what is the Divine Master Plan? And I invite you to close your eyes for 30 seconds with me together and tune in and become mindful and enter the present moment awareness. Just breathe in. Notice the gap between inhaling and exhaling. And exhale. Okay. Now you are free to open your eyes. So when we think about the Divine Master Plan, we need to ask ourselves, what is a Divine Master Plan? The Divine Master Plan is the highest will for our soul to ascend, to come back where we came from. When we think about where we came from, we came from an undivided soul, male and female part, and we're one with the light, one with the creator, one with God. Then we decided to leave this and enter this world, descending down, 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 and down until we came here as a split soul, as a male or female part. And sometimes people have the feeling, I don't belong here. I am not from this world. And like 2000 years ago, a wise man said, you are not from this world, you are just in this world. And that is right. The kingdom of ourselves is inside. And happiness and tuning into the divine master plan is always an inside job. So the first step is to think how the brain works. Our brain follows directions. So it's important what kind of belief system we have. It's important what, can, what we give, the instructions we give the brain. Because our brain follows our instructions. Many people are not able to access the Divine Master Plan because they think negative, they think pessimistic, and they think just I'm lost, I can't find my way on this earth. So tuning into the Divine Master Plan first is to believe that you can. Open your heart and when we think about the intentionality, always come from a place of unconditional love. Come from a place where you do everything that you do and that is the one most important task it is not important what you do, it is important how you do it. If you comb your hair, if you shower, if you have breakfast with your beloved ones, if you go to work, if you drive to work, just do everything that you do with your highest vibration of love as if the destiny of the universe depends on it. If you, as if you were just contributing to mankind as a whole organism, because we are all connected with your vibrations, with every thought, word, and action. So one step is to cooperate with the Divine Master Plan, do everything you do with your highest vibration of love. 
wake up that way and go to sleep that way. The second aspect is access a high state of gratitude. Generate a feeling of gratitude. When I met my spiritual teacher at 16 years, the first thing he said, you want to know what God is, God, what loving God means? Loving God means to accept everything that happens in this world, that happens to you, as if you have wanted it exactly the way it comes. To embrace everything that happens that like you could have chosen it if you would have had a choice. For the matter of soul ascension, for the matter of returning home again, for the matter of returning where you came from. The next aspect is to love yourself in a way that you take all challenges and all tasks that are given to you with a complete acceptance, with a complete embrace, and completely as if you would tuck yourself and give yourself love. So take everything that you encounter with an open heart and embracing it completely. The next step is to understand that we are all connected. That everything that happens is a matter of your vibration and your frequency you send out into the world. Many people pray for selfish matters and it's not about to want a big house, to want a big car, to want billions of money. It is about asking and turning around, looking at yourself and ask, hmm, how can I serve? How can I contribute? Instead of asking, what is in it for me? Ask, how can I serve? That is the next step. What is furthermore extremely important is to find and generate the will to joy. The highest intelligence of the universe isn't found in suffering, isn't found in negativity, and isn't found in pessimism. The highest frequency and the highest vibration of the universe is always found in joy. And that means make every day an orange day. Squeeze like an orange happiness out of everything that comes to you. If it is an encounter with a person you have mixed feelings about, make it happiness that you have a chance to learn, make it happiness that you have a chance to send love into this person, breathe out love from your heart as you discuss, as you talk, as you meet. Just be happy about everything. Happy about the food you eat, happy about the roof over your head, happy about the shelter, happy about whatever comes your way. Make squeezing happiness out of everything that comes to you a natural habit, that you stay in this high vibration and high frequency as much as you can. So the next thing is to take this intention to always come from a point of unconditional love and let it sink into everything you do, your belief system, your attitude, your capabilities, your behavior, and your actions. So coming to the divine, coming in tune with the divine master plan takes a lot of self-discipline. We have many impulses in, in our soul that want our intention, like young birds who always open their mouth and want your attention. It is about refining, refining your 
lower impulses and when the refining happens, the openness for the Divine Master Plan is much easier to come to pass in your life than to come from a place of disappointment, selfishness, egoism, greed, anger, and whatever the low frequencies want from you. So it's about refinement of your impulses and self-discipline. When you want to be in alignment of your deep, with your divine master plan, you come from a place of gratitude, unconditional love, and joy. That is my message today. <laughs>